is Friday Night Football. Hello, everybody watching online on KTVB.com, our app, and the KTVB YouTube page. Welcome to our very first Friday Night Football streaming live on our YouTube channel. You can tune in every Friday night after the news at 10. We'll have in-depth highlights, interviews, and a whole lot of fun every Friday night. The best part about it, if you miss any of the action, you can head to our KTVB YouTube page to access our weekly shows. Of course, you can also head on over to KTVB.com if you miss any specific highlights. I encourage you, strongly encourage you, to be a subscriber to our YouTube page. You can't beat football season and you can't beat week one. Plenty of highlights to get to. Let's start with Class 4A tonight. Number one, Bishop Kelly hosting Nampa this evening. Tim Brennan and BK fired up the Knights honoring their 1969 state championship team tonight. 50 years of excellence. Final play before halftime. Stud playmaker Donovan Estrada. Nampa quarterback buying time. Eventually finds Colton Siebel for the touchdown as time expires. Bulldogs up 19-14 at halftime. Second half, Cade Smith, another stud playmaker. Nice gain up the middle there. He would finish that drive in the end zone with the rushing score right here. Bulldogs up. 27-14 in the third. Later on, Bulldogs defense making plays as well tonight. This is Jace Mann. He's the man, Big Jace. The tip drill hauls it in, taking this interception all the way to the house. Nampa goes on the road. They make a statement in week one. They take down Bishop Kelly tonight, 40-20 to the final. Heading up to Class 5A, Capital taking on Boise this evening over at DLP. We pick things up in the first quarter. This is Jake Jones, double J, up the gut for the score. Seven zip, Eagles ahead. Carson Bonning played quarterback for Boise last fall. He's now at Capital for his senior season. His old buddy, Big Joe Fitzgerald, sacking him right there. Would love to hear that conversation after that play. We move ahead in the first bonding, throwing it up to one of the top wideouts in the state, Jonah Blackham. Jonah, a well of a catch. Take another look at that. Two feet down, I think that's good on Sundays. After a turnover from the Brave, Capital capitalizes. It's Jones again, up the middle for the score. Capital rolls tonight, 52 zip the final. Staying in Class 5A, Centennial. Hosting Eagle tonight. Centennial from me, two thumbs up on the gray jerseys. I really like them. Centennial punter Caden Pridgen here. Initially going to punt, makes the wise decision, tucks the ball and run with open space. Able to juke a few defenders, able to move the chains for the first down, a breath of new life. That results in this touchdown. Keon Horton connects with Michael Shalikov. At the end of the drive for the touchdown, Patriots go ahead 7-zip. They strike first, and suing kickoff, though. Dalton Mayshore, he's got reservations for six. He looks fast right there. Mayshore with a house call. That's how you answer the bell. Eagle takes this one, 69-18 to the final. Nice road win to start the year for the Mustang. Meridian. Hosting Skyview tonight as well. Warriors already up two scores when we pick this one up. Skyview rally. Kate Clayton Franzen going deep. Danny Castledine in the end zone. He hauls it in. Danny, king of the castle. 14-7, Meridian ahead. Warriors go right back to work on the ground. The ground and pound. All name team Blaze Tokioko up the gut for the nice game. Later in the drive, it's Tokioko. Man, that is fun to say. Blazing it up the middle for the score. Meridian opens their season with a home win. 27-6 the final over Skyview. Heading back to Class 4A. CUNA hosting Middleton tonight. We pick things up in the first. A lot of scoring in this one. Caveman on the board first. This is Sean Austin. The long touchdown pass to Zeke Wilson. Big Zeke for the touchdown right there. You know the saying, if it's not broken, don't fix it. That combo goes back to work this time over the middle. Same result, another touchdown, 14 zip. CUNA jumps out in front. Middleton would answer. Dallas Hagler going up top here. Behind the defense, it's Jace Rogers. Hauling it in for the score to take it to the house. CUNA 
but the firepower and the answer all night long though. Austin finds Maurice McGrew out in the flat. Nice juke. Look at the effort. Stays inside the pylon. Gets in for the score. Cavemen pulled off a late rally from Middleton. They win tonight 34-28 the final. Canyon Ridge traveling north from Twin Falls to take on Liam Larison in Valleview. Falcons quarterback UC Davis commit one of the best players in the entire state making plays left and right like he usually does using his feet getting into the end zone for the score. That was the first TD of the game. Then a little special teams action here for Valleview. This is Stephen Cody fielding the punt getting around the edge and he has a lot of green space in front of him. He would be knocked out of bounds just shy of the goal line. That's okay. A few plays later, it's Carson Child. Child, please. He runs it in for the touchdown there. Valley shuts out Canyon Ridge tonight. 57-0 the final. Staying in class 4A, Caldwell playing host to Ridgeview tonight. Things weren't going their way early. Caldwell quarterback Roy Zavala passes under pressure. He's picked off here by Ridgeview's Dylan Fairs. Brought down by a pack of Cougars right there. Warhawk quarterback Isis Albor then completes a short little pass here to teammate Jesus Valdiva. Nice gain right there before being brought down on the sideline. Jeff Anderson gives them a field goal. Puts Ridgeview ahead 20 to nothing right there. Then Caldwell's Matias Pizzano breaks to the left. Then decides, you know what, I'm going to go right. Turns out to be good. Takes this one down the sidelines for the touchdown, showcasing the speed. Ridgeview would end up winning this one on the road. 26-13 the final. Emmett hosting Columbia this evening. Staying in Class 4A. Austin Collin. Rolling right here, tossing it up to his big tight end. Isaac Martinez, nice to have a security blanket like Big Isaac. He yells it in for the score. Emmett would retake the lead here later on. Speaking of rolling right and good things happening, Caden Young, the sophomore, finds Caden Owens. One Caden plus another Caden equals a touchdown Caden. Later in the half, Young going to the end zone again. This one not going to end in a touchdown. It's going to be an interception. Jeremiah Brent making the play for the Wildcats defense. Emmett takes this one at home to open the season with a win, 21-12 the final. Alrighty, heading back to last night, we had a pair of games in the 5A SIC on Thursday night. Mountain View hosting Andy Peters in Timberline. We pick things up in the third. Mavs already in control. Sophomore Leighton Smithson. He's fun to watch. Nice game right there. Just a sophomore later in the drive. Jake Ferris connects with Smithson on the screen pass here. Nice juke from the young pup to move the chains. We move ahead in the drive. This is Steven Butler. Nice tough running inside the five. Couple of plays later, the senior would eventually find Pater right up the middle. All Mavs in this one, 46 to six, the final. All right, one final game for you. Oh man, this was a lot of fun over at DLP. Austin Bolt and Bora taking on Rocky Mountain. We pick things up in the first. Bora strikes first. That's Bolt connecting with Austin Baker for the score. Lions go ahead, seven zip. Rocky defense stepping up later on. Bolt up top. Look at this play here from Braden Kierton. Is that why we do the chip drill, fellas? That is, that's a tease ahead because you can't hear him just yet, but you will in a moment. Beautiful interception, they take advantage. Jordan Erickson, the junior, up the gut for the score. 8-7 Rocky after the two-point conversion. More Grizz defense, that's Landon Albert laying the smack down for the TFL. Rocky gets the ball, they go right back to work. It's Colby Jackson, nice pass over the middle to Caden Birch to move the chains. You'll see that duo a ton this fall. Eventually they would punch it in right before half. It's Erickson again up the gut. Rocky would go on to win this one to start the season off on a high note. 35-15 the final over Bora. And with that, week one of Friday Night Football highlights. 
are in the books and each and every week we will have a team with us on Friday Night Football on our Friday Night Football streaming live on YouTube as well as KTVB.com. This week, as you can tell, it's the fellas that you just saw, the defending 5A state champion Rocky Mountain Grizzlies. Fellas, first off, congrats on the win last night. A, thanks for joining us. B, got to ask you, let's, let's start with last night. You take down Bora. What was uh, what was your biggest takeaway from the game? I'll start with you, Colby. Um, you know, it was first week, um, so we had the jitters. Um, but I think overall, um, we got them all out. We uh, learned our, learned from our mistakes um, and really learned what we need to work on. Um, we got a big game next week. You know, Bora fought us well. They pointed out what we need to work on. So overall, I mean, it was a good game. Um, but we're ready to move on to week two. So you guys saw the highlights. You saw that interception that was fantastic. This guy right here made it. Raiden, walk us through that play. Um, I mean, it was all. It was honestly all Trevor Van Gerpen. He, he was <laughs> a, he was the one who went up for the ball. He attacked the ball in the air. I was just in the right place at the right time. So I mean, I I give all the credit to Trevor right there. Uh, so there's some defensive playmakers on this side of me. But first, real quickly, I want to get to the offense. Jordan Erickson. How much fun is it blocking for a, a talented he's, running back like him? He's really, really amazing. And uh, with the whole line growing this year, it's going to be great. Your Jordan's a really, really good running back. You guys have to replace a lot. That's the one area where you don't have much experience up front on the offensive line. Yeah. You're, you're the returning veteran of that unit. What, what's this offseason been like kind of emerging as a leader for that unit? Uh, it's just been we've been coming together and we've got some really good pieces this year. I mean, give our coaching staff a lot of – uh, props for uh, bringing us together and getting us a lot better this year, yeah. Fellas, let's talk about the defense last night. You guys were making plays left and right, tackles for losses, turnovers, I believe, how many, four? Okay, I, was I blind last night? Did I miss, I, I know you guys had a turnover chain last year. Did you guys have it last night? Um, yeah, we did. You did? I mean, there wasn't much to celebrate. I okay. Mean, obviously, it was a win and we're happy with it, but, you know, boy, taught us a good lesson, they're tough, and you know, we need to improve for game two because you got a big week with Mountain View. Bora has one of the, the, the better players in the entire state in Austin Bowl. Guys, I want to get your guys' perspective. Um, you guys have a, a bird's eye view. What, what are your thoughts on Austin? Um, I mean, obviously he's a baller. I mean, he's got offers, I mean, but he proves it. Um, six, I don't know how tall he is, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, whatever, but um, he plays like a ball hawk. I mean, I know that from watching him from an offensive standpoint. I mean. He's definitely a force on the field back there at safety. So, um, I mean, and then obviously on offense, he's a tank. So, the guy's a dude, but, you know. Took care of business. I get the vibe, you guys. A little, little disappointed in your efforts from last night. You, you felt like you might have left a little bit on the table. But as they say, the old football cliche, a team makes the most improvements from week one to week two. What are a couple of things? We'll start out on defense that you guys need to improve upon. I think ultimately, our biggest thing is we want to execute our jobs better. We know what our jobs are. We're plenty physical, plenty violent, plenty experienced up front. Mm -hmm. Now I think we need to take what we know. We just need to make sure we're applying it on the field so we can make big plays. How about for you guys offensively? Um, I think Coach Kreiner has been saying it best lately. Um, I think we get 10 guys to um, execute it, but we just got one guy every play that's just off. Um, so we're that close. But once we dial in, we'll be ready to go. So What's it like? being coached by Coach Kreiner. I mean, I've said it, I've said it a hundred times. The guy's a genius, obviously. <laughs> I mean, he is a character, so I mean, he's fun to have out there, but I mean, he's helped us a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm very grateful for him. Very grateful. All right, guys, so week one is in the books. We can now look ahead, not get ahead of ourselves. This is one of the best games year in and year out in the state of Idaho, the rivalry game. We got Mountain View this Friday. Um, I say Mountain View, what comes to mind? Braden, I'll start with you. It's a battle. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's always like that. It's always been like that. It's always fun to play in that game, too, so it'll, it'll be fun again, so we're ready. What's, what's it like playing in that game? Um, it's a dogfight every time. You know, there's, there's a lot on the line. There's that trophy. I mean, I think the win means more, but, you know, we have to, we have to go out and play. And if we, if we go out and give everything we have and we to fulfill our, fulfill our responsibilities, then we'll be good. Yeah, for you. It's, I mean, it's always a grind, especially on the line. It's always battling every single play, every time. Every play is a new play. It's, they're especially well coached, and it's going to be a grind, but it's going to be fun. Is that home or away? 
away. Way. It's away. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Your thoughts on going in there? You guys, you guys kind of like going on the road. I mean, I'll play it wherever. It yeah. doesn't really matter <laughs> doesn't for matter. us, honestly. But yeah, I mean, yeah. Long. I've never played at their house, so I'm excited. It's going to be a new thing for me. So. A lot of fun. JT, if you're watching online from Tallahassee right now, I call dibs on that game next Friday. Uh, fellas, let's have a little fun here. Um, you guys took care of business last night. You had to film today. What, what's a, a, a Saturday practice for you guys? What, what's tomorrow going to be like for you? Braden, I'll start with you. Um, I mean, we need to go through all of our mistakes that, we, that happened uh, last night. So that's going to be big right there. And that's pretty much what we're doing, just running drills through what we did yesterday wrong. So, yeah. Giving Coach Kulig a hard time? No, <laughs> that's, <laughs> not, that's not in the plans. <laughs> um, after that, though, a lot of time to watch ball, rest up. You're going to be watching your cousin tomorrow. Of course, Taloy's cousin is Keikoa Nawahini, starting safety. Tiloy. Yeah. Did I do it right? right? Yeah, you T. Loy. Yeah. T. Loy. Okay. K. Co. would give me a hard time. Uh, you going to watch your cousin tomorrow? Yeah. I mean, hopefully he does good, and uh, I want to see him play good and see him get a dub. What else do we do tomorrow? Just enjoy college football, rest up? Yeah, that's what our plan is. Week, yeah. week one, do you guys, do you guys, you guys feel the, the bumps and bruises? Are you guys kind of? Yeah. Oh, yeah? A little, oh, yeah. little bit. Yeah. Not, you're not used to it, right? No. Not, yeah. not used to it. Well, fellows, congratulations on the win last night. Thanks so much for joining us. You guys, uh, you got to get up here in what, like seven hours? Something like that. Okay. Yeah. All right. We will. <laughs> yes, you do need that beauty sleep. <laughs> Big week ahead for these fellows. The defending 5A state champions go on the road. The rivalry game, one of the best rivalry games in the state. Mountain View, Rocky Mountain next Friday. Fellas, thanks so much for the time. In case you missed any of our highlights, head on over to KTVB.com. We got you covered. and We will be here every Friday night after the news at 10 on our KTVB YouTube page. It'll be there for you. You can watch the show in its entirety. Fellas, once again, thanks so much for, uh, for joining us. Week one of Friday Night Football is in the books. We will see you same time, same place next Friday evening.